This video is published by MBKP International. This is our Guillotine EC19 Pro paper cutter. This is a fully programmable electric paper cutter. It's 19 inches wide, it does a 19, up to a 19 inch cut. And um, it has three different modes. You have manual mode, sections mode, and auto mode. I'm going to explain all three of those modes to you, um, but first off, I'm going to go some of the, the safety features it has and uh, different types of tools it has before I actually explain any of the modes. Here, um, you got your electric cord that plugs in on the side, and then before power goes anywhere, there's a circuit breaker here, and that's usually for if you spill anything on it and creates a short, whatever the, the circuit breaker will pop, make power go off. That's one safety feature. The other safety feature is a key switch, on-off key switch, where you can turn it on and off with the key, take the key so kids can't get on it and uh, play with the machine. Turn it on like that. Other feature it has is an EMO um, emergency off switch. So if you ever see a, anybody that witnesses a non-safe action or whatever and they feel something might be damaging, they just come and pop that switch in, shuts the machine completely down so nothing can happen. The way you turn it back on is just turn it clockwise, quarter turn and it pops back out. The machine will turn back on automatically. Um, the different things it has is that uh, another safety feature is you have to press two cut buttons at the same time with both hands. That way you, you can't have one hand free while you're cutting with the other hand. So you will press both buttons when you do an actual cut. And it also has um, different things for the even the paper press. You'd have to press both buttons to get the paper press. The paper press does work on the cut as well. But that's just if you want to do the paper press, push it down before you do a cut. This is how everything's going to be. And then it also has a reverse, the two reverse buttons, and you can see kind of by the arrows, all the arrows kind of like give you the different indications of what it'll do here. And um, another safety feature is the grid. If you stick your hand in there, um, you can actually see the light go off when I stick my hand in there. Hopefully, you can get that in the video. Um, if your hand's in there, the machine will not operate. It will not allow the blade to come down at all. It does have one one thing to bypass, and it's the most by the most bottom sensor on the safety grid. You can shut this one off with this switch over here by flicking, turning that switch on, and it'll shut this switch this off right here. What that allows for is if you're cutting really long paper that extends past the table, um, obviously you want you want the machine to cut, but you just don't have no way to cut it, so you just bypass it, and it allows just for a stack of paper that's about an inch high to where it could bypass it and actually still do the cut. Um, normally you should always make sure that's, that this switch is in the opposition so the whole grid is working just, just for more safety. It's just a simple bypass for whatever your work needs are. I'll t uh, talk about some of the tools here that it does come with. It comes with this little T-handle. This T-handle is for the screws on the blade. You can't really see the screws here because they're, I could probably put it in the down position a little bit just so you can see them a little bit. There's the screws for the blades. It's meant just really just to loosen and tighten them, and it's just meant just for these bolts that go on the blade right here. And also, it comes with these lollipops. That once you take the screws out of uh, this part of the blade and this part of the blade, these lollipops go in, and it's meant strictly only for handling the blade, so you're not carrying the the blade with your hands because these blades are super sharp and they will cut you really easily. That way, you're handling the blade with the lollipops and not not your hands. The other fun, the other tool it comes with, the main tool it comes with, is this Allen wrench head that's just long enough. And I'm going to show this. I'm going to put this back in the up position. Oh, forgot about my safety grid. Back up. This tool is only long enough, and you even have to take this paper off. That where it'll only work if the blade's in the full up position. And what it's for is you put it in here and it adjusts the blade on how far the blade will cut into this cut pad. The way you want these blades adjusted is so it, cut, it just goes into the cut pad maybe one thirty second of an inch, very little. Um, if you ha ever have a situation to where you're having, you're cutting a stack of paper and only maybe the last one or two sheets are not cutting but everything else is cutting, this is where you'd make that adjustment and you would just kind of basically do, turn it so the blade will go down a little bit further, do a half turn each time to get it to where it cuts all the paper nice thing function about this is how easy it is. You just stick it in here, you turn. Other paper cutters, you'd have to remove this whole crown. There's screws in there. You have to make all sorts of adjustments to make that blade come down further. Whereas on this paper cutter, this is really simple to make this adjustment. And it's done with this tool right here. It also comes with an operation manual. Um, you'll have that with each cutter. Let me get these tools out of the way. And it comes with a couple other tools. Let me put them here. Just 
Comes with some hex wrenches, regular wrench, screwdriver, just if you ever have to do any regular maintenance on it. So it, it does come with those. It also comes with this stand that it comes on. Stand actually has a nice storage. You can get in there and store different things in there. And I'll kind of go over some of the different functions it does do. I'm going to talk about the manual mode first. Because that's the easiest. That's usually what they're set to anyways. But anyways, it's on manual mode right now. And manual mode basically is you just have to type in every single cut you want. So basically, I'm, since I'm already in manual mode, I'm going to hit C to kind of highlight it right here, the cut I want to be at. And I'm going to put in 12 inch. I'll put in actually 10 inches. I'm going to hit enter. The blade will travel to the 10 inch mark. Now I can hold both cut buttons down. I got to keep on holding them in order to keep, do the entire cut. Okay, after the blade goes up, it did its cut. It's great, it's done, you can remove your paper. There is another function on the manual mode. If you don't want to be sticking your hand underneath the blade to get to get your paper to after it's cut, you can hit this button right here. And it puts a little arrow right here. And all that tells you is that in between each cut, it's going to push the paper three inches forward so you can grab it and you're not sticking your hand underneath. And then it's going to travel back to the 10 inch mark where you, wherever your cut was. If you're constantly doing 10 inch cuts over and over again. So I got the little arrow on there and I'll hold it. It's going to do the cut. After the cut's done, you'll see where it moves forward. Move forward, push your paper three inches out, and it moves back to the 10 inch mark automatically. Now if you have paper here, you can just remove it without having to stick your hand underneath the blade. Um, just the feature that some people might like. I'm going to go ahead and shut it off now, because that's pretty much the manual mode. If I want to change my cut, basically all I'd have to do is hit C while I'm in manual mode. And I'm going to hit it a second time just to clear it out and say like I want to go to an 8 inch cut. I'm going to do 8, 0, 0, enter. Now it goes to the 8 inch mark. You do your cut there. If I want to change it again, I can change it and I just hit C twice. And then I'll go to, uh, let's say I might want to go to 17 inch cut. Hit enter. It's going to go back to the 17 inch mark. One thing I did forget to mention at the very beginning that I want to talk about, there's these two buttons right here. Um, it does say in the instruction manual, but you should always, at the beginning of every time you turn on the machine, you should hit these two buttons just to calibrate the machine. All that does is just so the machine will find out where it's located at. It's a calibration mode. That way you ensure you get the best cut possible. So I just kind of want to mention that right there. Let's see. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, now that we kind of went through the manual mode, I'm going to go ahead and go through auto mode. You're going to get to auto mode by hitting the wrench button until you see A flashing, or A not being flashing, A right here on the screen. Now we're in auto mode. From here you can do different programs. You can cut, you can have different types of cuts. I kind of pre-did this one on memory point number one. You have up to 96 different locations or different memory points that you can actually program. This is great if you're doing the same cuts over and over and over again. Um, I already got this for one. You could change it if you want, or you can just go to another location. Um, I'm going to go to location number two and do an actual program there. But I'm going to hit this button right here. I'm going to keep on hitting. See how this is blinking right here? I'm going to hit it until the memory points linking are blinking. Now I'm going to use the, arrow, the down arrow button, or the up arrow in this case. I'm going to go to memory point number two. There's nothing programmed there. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and hit, um, hit enter. And now I'm going to hit clear and highlight the first cut. So say like my first cut. You might have different things, and I've seen different parts sometimes where you want to do a short cut, then you want to go back to a long cut, you know, because you might be turning your paper different ways, but you have a different job. But say like I want to cut like a piece of 12 inch paper in half. So I go six zero zero. And I'm going to use the down arrow. And now I want to go to a 10 inch cut because I might be doing business cards or, or something or just the flyer or whatever, but I'm going to go to a 10 inch cut. And this would be, I'd cut the paper in half, I'd probably flip, stack it on top of each other, and I'd flip it, put it in there, and do a 10-inch cut for whatever reason. And then I'm going to go down again and say, like, I, I want to go, after the 10-inch cut, I want to go to 8-inch cut. Goodbye. You know, down arrow, and we'll go 6-inch cut. And a 4-inch cut. 
and you can go down all the way to two inches, but not a, I'm just going to go to four here. I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to hit it one more time to let it know that we're done. Now it's going to travel to your six inch mark. I'm going to go ahead and hit both cut buttons, do my cut, like normal, and the blade will come down. Now the machine will automatically travel you to your 10 inch mark. At this point, if, you, if you're going to get your, your stacks of paper, you get your two cuts, stack them on top of each other, turn them whatever way you're going to turn them, stick them back in there. It'll go back to your 10 inch cut. Now we'll do the 10 inch cut. Now it'll automatically go to 8 inches. And I'll do the 8 inch cut. Now the machine will automatically go to 6 inches. Now we'll do the four inch, or the, the six inch cut. Sorry. Now it's going to go to four inches. Now that it did the four inch cut, it's going to go back to the beginning of the program and start with six all over again. So you can do another stack of paper, however you're going to do it. So that was your auto mode. There's one other mode, it's called sections mode. And you do that by hitting this button right here, and it just goes where there's an S right here. Sections mode is where you start with, you start off at a certain point, maybe you start off at 12 inches, and you just want to have like maybe a three inch cut. And you want the blade to travel three inches every time in between cuts. So basically I'm going to hit C to highlight this, and do 12 inch cut. I'm going to use a down arrow, and this is the distance the blade will travel forward. So I'm going to put in three. Now it goes to 12 inch cut, and it's going to keep on doing a three inch cut until it has no more paper to cut, and it'll go back to 12 inches. And I'll show that. So now it's going to go to nine inches. I'll do the nine inch cut. Now it's going to go to six inches. Now I'll do the six inch cut. Now it's going to go to three inch cut. Now we'll do the three inch cut and it won't be able to go any further forward so then it's going to automatically go back to the 12 inch cut so you can start over. Now in sections mode, so it goes back to a 12 inch cut. Sections mode, you can only have one program each time. You got to program it each time, but it's great if you're just doing, if you're traveling a certain distance in between each cut automatically. Auto mode is clearly by far the one that everybody uses the most because you can program 96 different things in there, which is clearly more than what anybody probably ever need as far as different types of jobs they might do over and over again. And let's see if I could explain any more of the features on this. Actually, I'll actually put some paper in here because I'm sure you actually want to see an actual cut. This is eight and a half by 11 paper. So I'm gonna start off with an exact, um, actually I'm gonna do, I'll do a 10 inch cut first. And actually I'll go to auto mode for that, or manual mode. So I hit that, the wrench button until I see the M. And I'll type in, actually I'm gonna start with 12 first. So like, I like to push the paper forward so it knows it's like all the way from forward. So I like to stick the paper way underneath. First, hit clear, 12, enter. And then I'm gonna put the paper in there, put it all the way against the paper, the paper push. And you see it's behind where it's gonna actually cut, but I just, I did that on purpose because I want it to push forward automatically. And then what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and do a 10 inch cut now. So I'm gonna hit clear again. I'm gonna hit it twice to clear it out. I'm going to go to a 10 inch cut. So move forward. Now I can actually do a cut. Went through, just did the cut right there on the line where it was kind of showing right there. Now the nice thing about it is I'm going to go ahead and now let's say like I just want to do a little bit of a cut. So I'll just type in. Uh, Let's see, we'll do nine, sorry, let me hit C twice, nine, nine, eight. 
just two one hundredths of an inch basically. And then you move forward. I'm gonna do nine nine six. So you see it just moved it forward just a hair basically. Just so you see how much you can So you see how it did that cut, or it's just almost really a real fine cut right there. So it, it has the ability to move forward just very little at a time. And I think that's pretty, do you know of anything else to talk about there, Chris? As far as the operation of it? That's it, other than the, you want to show and demonstrate the buttons, how they work? Yeah, I, I show both buttons. Like, so I'm going to hold both buttons down. You see it's going to, you got to hold both buttons, hopefully I'm out of the way. You got to keep on holding them until the blade starts traveling back up. The blades traveled up. I can release them now. It'll finish the cut. I'm going to show you actually where if I stick my thumb in there on on the top of the table while I'm doing the cut, it's going to show you it'll air out. See, it just stopped automatically. Right when I stuck my thumb in there, it gives you a fault. It won't operate until you remove whatever's in the way of the table. Now I can I remove my thumb so I can finish my cut. So that's a nice feature about the about the safety grid there. Reverse button or just clamp just blade? Now, or I could do the if I just want to clamp do, do the paper clamp, I'll press this button and this button at the same time. And it just does the paper clamp. That's it. And for if you ever have a reason that you just want to see kind of where it's pressing the paper down, you can see exactly. And if I want to reverse it, I press this button and this button. Just automatically reverses it. Those two buttons are the same if the blade was stuck in the wrong position. You get the blade down. So the blade's halfway down. I want to reverse them. I hit those same two buttons. And just reverses. You really can see it does have a laser line there, laser cut line. Pull across. Get this paper out of the way. This, uh, I missed it. Did we show the cabinet soon? Yeah, I think we, right, did. we did show the cabinet already. We talked about so much already, but that's the cabinet in case we didn't. I'll back mm -hmm. off so I can get a better view of it. And then you do have your rubber feet at the bottom in case you don't mark up your floor or anything. It said handles on the side for that. And we will make other videos as far as changing the blade. We are in the process of making all the videos, and we will have other videos of changing. You know, simple maintenance on you know stuff you should do to keep it keep your machine running good. As far as changing the blade, changing certain belts, anything like that. Anybody ever has a problem with that? Um, this is kind of a do-it-yourself program. Basically, there there are um, if anything were to go wrong with this machine, you can call us up. We'll kind of help you troubleshoot it. If there's a part that you need to get, we can send the part to you. We walk you through it over the phone, or make you a video on how to change the part out if it's just a simple part. Right. This video is published by MBKP International.